I don't think this is going to turn out to be a good choice. These glasses reflect absolutely everything. Hello everyone and welcome to Skein Spider. Today we're going to be making a hermit crab. We are at the tail end of summer here in Australia so I thought I would keep the summer vibes alive a little bit longer by making some of these guys and if you'd like to make one too grab your hooks and let's get started. To make a hermit crab you're going to need both a 3 and a 3.5 millimeter hook, scissors, stitch markers, a needle, pins, stuffing, eight ply yarn in two colors as well as a pair of 12 millimeter safety eyes. We're going to begin by making the crab's body and for that we're going to use our 3.5mm hooks and we're going to begin round one with six single crochet in a magic circle. So make a magic circle however you prefer to do that and we're going to single crochet one, two, three, four, five, and six into the circle, close that up. Round two is going to be six increases and an increase is just two single crochet in each stitch. So we're going to go into the first stitch of round one, place one single crochet into that same stitch for a second single crochet. And then we're just going to repeat that five more times. For round three, we're going to do one single crochet, one increase repeated six times. One in the first stitch, I'm just popping my stitch marker in there. In the second stitch, we're going to do an increase. And then we're going to repeat that five more times. One single crochet, one increase. Round four begins with one single crochet. And then we're going to do an increase in the second stitch. One and two. After this, repeat two single crochet, one increase five times. One, two, and fifth increase. After that fifth increase, you should have one stitch left in your round, and we're just going to single crochet into that. Round five is three single crochet and an increase repeated six times. Round six starts off with two single crochet, and then we're going to follow these two single crochet with an increase. After that, repeat four single crochet, one increase five times. And then when you've done that fifth increase, you should have two stitches left in your round. We're just going to single crochet into both of those. After round six, we should have 36 stitches in total. And then round seven is just going to be 36 single crochet. Round eight is five single crochet and an increase repeated six times. Round nine is 42 single crochet. Round 10 is three single crochet and an increase. And then we're going to repeat six single crochet, one increase five times and finish off the round with three more single crochet. At 
At the end of round 10, we should now have 48 stitches and then rounds 11 through to 14 are each going to be 48 single crochet. We're just going to slip stitch to finish off and you'll want to leave a fairly long tail for sewing. And at this point, we can add the eyes. So we're going to add those between rounds 10 and 11. So you'll just count up from round one or down from round 14, whatever your preference is. Now I was going to use 12 millimeter eyes, but this eight ply yarn that I'm using today is actually a little bit thicker than the regular eight ply yarn I use. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bump that up to a 14 millimeter but you can really use whatever size eyes that you like. Come on, there we go. And I'll put those away. So we're going to place these between rounds 10 and 11, about three stitches apart. And it doesn't matter where on the body you place these because this is a round piece, but I like to have the tail end at the back anyway. So we're going to go 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. And that is the body done. We're going to go uh, we're going to go on and crochet the rest of our crab pieces. And we're going to start with the legs. Now with the legs, you're going to make either six or eight of these. I'm going to make six because I didn't like the way eight looked on the body. I thought it looked a little bit too crowded. But if you're going for anatomical accuracy, you can make eight legs, but I'm going to stick with six. And for the legs, we're going to drop down our hook size and use our three millimeter hook. So I'm sticking with the body color that I used for the head. And we're going to begin with a magic circle, but this time we're going to be starting off with four single crochet. Round two is going to be three single crochet and an increase. Round three is five single crochet. Round four is four single crochet and an increase. Round five is six single crochet. Round six begins with two single crochet, and then we're going to do two increases in a row and finish our round with two more single crochet. And then to finish off, rounds seven through to 10 are going to be eight single crochet each. That's four rounds of eight single crochet. So if you think it would be easier, you can just do 32 single crochet consecutively. Finish off with a slip stitch and leave a tail for sewing. The next piece we're going to make is the arm and that is sort of two pieces in one. It's the claw and the arm, which, where is it? looks like this. So what we're going to do is start with the claw section and for that we're going to put six single crochet in a magic circle and for the claw and arm we're still using our three millimeter hooks. Close up. Round two is six increases. What we're going to do now after round two is create the first claw. We're going to do that by starting with six single crochet. One, two, three, four, 
five and six and then what we're going to do is skip the last six stitches so if you need to if you prefer a visual aid grab a stitch marker count back to stitch one one two three four five six and I'll just make sure I got that right. One, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. We're going to skip these last six stitches, and instead we're going to fold our work in half. And I might get rid of this tail first because that's going to get in my way. Fold our work in half, and we're going to work directly into that first stitch again where we put the stitch marker. So starting from here, fold your work in half and we're going to turn it so that we're looking at stitch number one from this point from stitch number six we're going to go straight into stitch number one from the front so we're working from the right sides of our stitches to the wrong sides and then what we're going to do is crochet four single crochet one decrease one two three and four and then we're going to do an invisible decrease to do that go under the front loops of the next two stitches one and then the second front loop yarn over pull through those front loops and then yarn over pull through the two loops on your hook that was round four and then we're going to do round five which is our final round of this claw and we're going to do three single crochet one decrease When that's done we're just going to cut a short tail because we're going to weave this in in a moment before we do that we're going to make the second claw we're going to go back to the six free stitches that we've left one two three four five and six you're going to insert your hook into there into the first free stitch line up your yarn behind your hook yarn over and pull through and then we're going to slip stitch to join this slip stitch doesn't count as a stitch in our round and we're going to repeat rounds four and five like we did here so round four was four single crochet one decrease and the first single crochet is going to go into that same stitch that we just slip stitched into and then round number five was three single crochet one decrease And then what we're going to do is cut this end again with this second tail i like to leave that a little bit longer because sometimes you can end up with a bit of a gap between your claws so if you leave this tail a little bit longer you can use that to sew those together so that's just going to be a little bit longer than the first you'll want to grab your needle for the next bit and i'm going to close up the one with the shorter tail first thread that And to close up the hole, we're going to go under the front loops of the last four stitches. So start behind the front loop and you're going to push your needle under and forward towards you. One, two, three, and four. Pull on that to close. And then you're going to insert your needle straight back into the center of the last round and then just weave this through the body and i'm going to push my needle out through the center of round one our first round and i'm just going to leave that tail hanging there for a moment i'm going to do the same thing on this second claw then weave it in now this one before we weave it out of round one I'm actually just going to put a couple of stitches in the center here joining the two sides together and back again that just helps to hide the little gap there and at this point I'm going to go out of round one or the very center of round one and then I'm going to take these two ends and then tie them off and I'm doing this because usually when I weave in my ends, there's stuffing that I can weave the end into. So that, 
that tends to keep it secure but obviously with our little claw we don't have that option so we're just going to tie these ends off cut off the excess yarn and then push that knot back into the claw to hide it there we go and that's the claw section done now we're going to make the arm. The arm we're going to crochet directly onto the claw and we're going to crochet it in between rounds one and two. So working in between rounds one and two that's going to give us six stitches. So I'm just going to insert my hook and I'm going to join my yarn like we did when we did the second claw. So pull it through, join with a slip stitch and this slip stitch isn't going to count as a stitch in our round. I'm going to go back into that same stitch and single crochet and I'm just going to follow the space between rounds one and two all the way around for six single crochet. I'm also working over this end to secure it. Three, four, five and six. Once you've done that, we're going to crochet two more rounds of six single crochet, or you can just do 12 single crochet consecutively. So rounds two and three of the arm are just six single crochet each. And then we can leave a tail for sewing. I'm going to cut off that tail end I worked over from joining my yarn and I'm also going to push in this bit from my knot that has emerged and that is how you make the claws slash arms. The final part that we need to crochet is the hermit crab's shell and for that we're going to be using our 3.5mm hooks again. We're going to begin round one with six single crochet in a magic circle. Round two is one single crochet, one increase repeated three times. Round three is two single crochet and an increase repeated three times. Round four is three single crochet and an increase repeated three times. For round five, we're going to start off with four single crochet. After that four single crochet, we're going to do seven half double crochet. To do a half double crochet, you're going to yarn over first, then go into your stitch, yarn over and pull through the stitch. At this point you should have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. That's our first half double crochet, I'll go through that again, yarn over first, go into your stitch, yarn over and pull through the stitch. You should have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. So I've done two half double crochet so far, we need to do five more for seven in total. After you've done that seventh half double crochet, there should be four stitches left in your round and we're just going to do a single crochet into each of those. Round six is three single crochet, one decrease repeated three times. Round seven is going to be worked into the back loop only and the back loop is the part of the stitch that's furthest away from us. We're going to do one single crochet, one increase repeated six times, again in the back loop only. Round eight is going to be one single crochet one increase, 
two single crochet, one increase, repeated five times, and then we're going to finish the round with one single crochet. Round nine is three single crochet and an increase repeated six times. Round 10 is going to start with eight single crochet. After those first eight single crochet, we're going to do 14 half double crochet. And after those 14 half double crochet, we're going to finish the round with another eight single crochet. Both rounds 11 and 12 are the same as round 10. So we're going to do eight single crochet, 14 half double crochet, and finish with eight single crochet. Round 13 is three single crochet and a decrease repeated six times. Round 14 is worked in the back loop only, and we're going to do one single crochet, one increase, and we're going to repeat it 12 times. Round 15 is five single crochet and an increase repeated six times. Round 16 begins with three single crochet and then an increase. And then we're going to repeat six single crochet, one increase five times, and then finish off with three more single crochet. Round 17 is seven single crochet and an increase repeated six times. Both rounds 18 and 19 are 14 single crochet, 26 half double crochet, and then 14 single crochet. Round 20 is seven single crochet, one decrease repeated six times. Round 21 is 12 single crochet, 24 half double crochet, and 12 single crochet. Round 22 is going to be the same as round 21 in the number of stitches we're doing. However, this time we're going to be working in the front loop only. And the front loop is the part of the stitch that's closest to us. So what we're going to be doing is 12 single crochet, 24 half double crochet, and then 12 single crochet, all in the front loops. Round 23 is six single crochet, or one decrease repeated six times. And round 24, which is our final round, is five single crochet, one decrease, repeated six times. When you're done, we're just going to finish off. This end that we're going to cut just needs to be long enough that we can weave it into our shell. 
So grab your needle and just weave your end in through the backs of the stitches. When you begin weaving in your end, don't cover up the back loops. There should be a ring of those from round 22 because we're going to use this to sew our crab body onto the shell. So you just want to weave in along these stitches here, so rounds 23 and 24. And after we've weaved in that end, we can begin assembling our hermit crab. To begin, all we're going to do is stuff the top part of the shell. So I'm going to stuff the first two sections here. And you want to stuff these sections just enough that they will retain their shape. When you've done that, you're going to grab your needle and you'll need your crab head for this part. Just going to thread the tail end of the crab head through my needle. And then you're going to fold back the top of the shell or the open end. So you can see the exposed ring of back loops left over from round 22 because in round 22 we worked in the front loop only and what you're going to do is sew your crab head onto that the first thing you need to decide though before you actually sew is how you want your shell to sit on your crab so i'm going to have mine facing that way ish but you can choose to have your shell however you like it so that means i'm going to start sewing from this point And we're just going to sew all the way around until we hit about the three quarter point. All right, now that we've left a little hole, we're going to continue stuffing. So you're going to stuff the rest of the shell and also the crab's body. And then when you've finished adding all your stuffing, we're just going to continue sewing. And then we're just going to weave this end in to secure it. And then all we're going to do is sew on all our limbs. So we're going to start with the claws. I'll grab my pins for this. And you're going to attach those just below and off to the side of the eye, so about there. And then when we've got those pinned in place, we'll sew them on. And after we've added the claws, we're going to add the legs. What we're going to do is start with the ones closest to the claws. So we're going to start with, whoops, these here. And then we're going to work our way back. And with each leg, I'm only going to add a little bit of stuffing to the top here because they don't really need to be stuffed a lot. And then we're going to place those legs on. Now the legs have a shape to them. So if you hold this one here, you can see that it curves out slightly here. This is the underside of the leg. So the curved part is going to sit under the leg facing the body. So I'm just going to pin those in place. And then when you've sewn on your final leg, we are finished. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing and I will be back next week with a new one.